So, weiter geht's. Durch das Dorf Konda durch. Kleiner Abstecher zu den beiden Typen hier. Ähm. Ihr erinnert euch vielleicht noch an die ähm, Nachfrage, die ich beim letzten Mal gemacht habe. Autsch. Ähm. Ich, ähm. Ich nehme das hier immer noch am gleichen Tag auf, daher habe ich keine Nachfrage bekommen und äh, keine Antworten bisher bekommen. Und äh, ja, werde jetzt noch nichts ändern. Ich werde nach dem Video hier wahrscheinlich auch noch mindestens zwei weitere machen, ähm, damit ich halt wieder für die ganze Woche äh, vorbereitet habe. Ich muss mal sehen, ob ich die auch alle hochladen kann. Mein äh, Internet, äh, meine Internetverbindung ist ja immer noch nicht die beste. Ich also man kann ja sehen, dass die manchmal da richtig runter droppt. Schüler Okasaki no Hiku Ifakura Stil Schoden. Okay. Ja. Hm. Quality hier. Ja, ich. Ich glaube, wir sollten schon langsam mal. Problem ist nur leider auch, wenn ich. Ähm, Wenn ich das Ganze upgrade, ich werde dann auch viel mehr Zeit darin verwenden müssen, ähm, zu farmen. Also, gerade bessere Relikte, weil für einige habe ich echt keine guten Relikte. Äh, Artefakte. Jetzt zum Beispiel für, ähm, Xiao. Das ist eigentlich mit nichts zu rechtfertigen, ihn mit sowas rumlaufen zu lassen. <lacht> äh, Berserkassette ist für den Anfang eigentlich okay, aber Euler sollte ich eigentlich auch ein besseres Set geben. Ähm, was die Waffen angeht, sind sie meistens... Naja, nicht so schlecht, sag ich mal. Es gibt bessere, auf jeden Fall. Aber das sind dann... Ja, meistens 5-Sterne-Waffen. Oder ich müsste halt craften. Äh, für... Tra für... Uh, Rosaria, der Drachenkratspeer, ist einfach der Beste. Aber für viele andere. Ich meine, Xiao ist eh am besten, wie gesagt, der Jadespeer oder der ähm, oder der Stab von Homer, aber der Stab von Homer, der geht eigentlich immer. Wenn du keine Ahnung hast, was du deinem Speerkämpfer geben sollst, gib ihm einen Stab von Homer. Das... Das stimmt immer. <lacht> also was das angeht, ist das ein bisschen... Naja. They say the Tenryo Commission is directly controlled by the Shogun. 
They're the ones responsible for maintaining law and order in Inazuma. The ones actually enforcing the Vision Hunt Decree. But why would they take action against one of their own? Uh, Paimon doesn't get it. Huh? There seems to be some commotion over there. Let's go see what's happening. I'll ask one more time. Do you intend to withhold this month's emergency provisions? The entire clan is counting on that food. We demand an explanation. How many times do I have to say it? I don't know anything about emergency provisions. You dare deceive us? Those provisions are essential. Do you understand? Not some goods to be pocketed by greedy samurai. You samurai think you can just do whatever you please? The Tenryo Commission will hear of this. Oh, sorry, ich habe gerade was getrunken, da habe ich nicht gesehen. Also, Notvorräte, meinen Sie damit Nahrung? Oh, uh, huh? And who are you? One of Kurosawa's gang, no doubt. Oh, what? We just happened to be passing by. We heard the commotion and came to see what the matter was. I see. You seem to have come just at the right time. Perhaps you can help us settle this matter. This is Kurosawa. He's a samurai and a member of the Shogun's army. They issue emergency provisions to the area, and he's the one responsible for distribution. In the past, we'd simply ask him for provisions and everything would be delivered. Now, he suddenly refuses to give us anything. He's keeping the provisions for himself, I just know it. We'll starve without them. No one seems to care about us. We used to think Kurosawa was a kind man. But he's shown his true colors. He's the same as all the other samurai. It's no wonder all the visions have been confiscated. The Raiden Shogun doesn't need people like him helping her rule the nation. This must be one of the people Ayaka asked us to help. But why would she ever want us to help someone like him? Maybe we should talk to Kurosawa and see what he has to say. Außerdem gehören wir zu äh Gehören wir zur Ito-Bande. <lacht> oh je. Wobei, nein. Wir haben keinen Guru. <lacht> oh je. Ob er jemals äh, erfahren wird, dass er für eine Trap simmt. Gott, ey. Das ist auch so eine Sache, die... Die kann eigentlich nur Yaimiko machen. Ach nee. I've never even heard of these emergency provisions. I don't know whether it's rumors or whether they're trying to blackmail me. But either way, it's ridiculous. If I was hoarding supplies, would I still be the poor man I am today? My own family can barely get by as it is. No, if you'll excuse me, I've got other matters to attend to. Wir hörten, dass du dein göttliches Auge verloren hast. And that's the first bit of truth I've heard all day. The Shogun's army told me that I was unworthy of my vision. And they said I was slacking off in my work. Apparently... I'd even disappointed the Raiden Shogun. And that's why they confiscated my vision. Well, that's strange. You were helping enforce the Vision Hunt Decree. Why would you be unworthy of your vision? To be perfectly honest, I don't seem to remember the details. All I know is that I would perform certain things every month. But I don't recall what they were. And it's not just that. I have this unsettling feeling, like, like, someone owes me something. Does it have to do with the missing emergency provisions? I didn't take any. Like I said, if I was taking them for myself, I wouldn't be going through such hard times right now. To top it all off, my house was just raided by treasure hoarders, which is why I came here in the first place. I was chasing after them when I got held up by these two. If you don't believe me, go find the treasure hoarders yourself. 
If there were any emergency provisions to be had, they would have found them. Huh. He seems to be telling the truth. But we better confirm. Let's go round up. We should be able to follow their tracks. They couldn't have gone to... Yeah, yeah. Ach, komm schon. Ja, ja, ich weiß, wo die sind. Äp. We really outdid ourselves this time. All those samurai houses packed with goods. <laughs> We really hit the jackpot. I mean, besides that one house. You haven't seen anything yet. There'll be a lot more where this came from. Today's just the beginning. I'll be leading you all on an epic journey of pillage and plunder that will go down in hoarder history. You demand, boss. These seem like the treasure hoarders we're after. Let's teach them a lesson. Hey, boys. Another oh. test. Ja, das kommt davon, wenn du dich. Wenn du dich mit einem Dämon anlegst. Oh, there goes all the Mora. We worked hard to steal that, you know? Come on, boss, think of something. <coughs> Not bad, kid. You ever think of joining the treasure hoarders? We could use someone like you. Vergiss es, erzähl uns alles über Kurosawa. Ja, nicht. Es heißt, ihr habt Kurosawas Haus geplündert. Kurosawa? Oh, I remember. So he's the one who sent you after us, huh? <laughs> Just our luck. I knew we shouldn't have hit that place. So what did you see inside? Was it stuffed with food supplies? Food supplies? <laughs> you kidding? That place was a complete mess. All we found was a strange looking box, hopefully with valuables inside. I didn't want anyone else to see it, so I was planning on opening it myself once we got back. But now that you've caught us, how about we make a deal? That little box for our freedom. What do you say? You've got a deal! Now show us what's in the box! Huh? What the? There's nothing in here but IOUs! Yeah, a lot of them too! And they all seem to be made out to the owner of a general goods store, a Miss Aoi. We're talking tons of Mora here. We better talk to this Miss Aoi and get to the bottom of this. As for you guys, you're free to go. Just pray that our paths don't cross again! Y yes of course. So... We redeemed ourselves for some IOUs. Uh, does that mean we broke even? Shut it. Let's just get out of here. God. Bin das eigentlich nur ich oder hört sich Palma manchmal an wie so eine richtige Karen? Ja, gut. Also gehen wir zu unserer Sundu. Sundu Beat. Äh. Sundu Beat Isekai Aoi. Und, äh. Moment, wo ich gerade hier vorbeikomme. Koroda! Grüße, willkommen beim Verlagshaus Yai. Ja, Grüße zurück, ich bin. Ich hätte gern ein paar Bücher. Ja, sieh dich um. Hammerans... Hammer... <lacht> Hammerwarans Kriege. Vorwort. Sowie 1 und 2. Wird gekauft. Kostbare Erzählung über den Shuken Shinkakoichi. Band 1. Okay. Hört sich interessant an. Die Drachenschlange von Tokoyo no Kuni. Nice. Der Reiseführer Teyward, Edition Inazuma. Ah, eine Zusammenfassung von Alice. Alice! 
Who the fuck is Alice? <lacht> Wiedergeboren als Shogun Raiden mit unbegrenzter Macht. Ja, es gibt einen Shogun Raiden Manga, in, <lacht> in dem ein einfacher Sterblicher in Shogun Raidens Körper geisekeit wird. Man kann sogar Shogun Raiden später darauf ansprechen. Das ist... Ich spoiler nix. Bitte an die Kutsune Gucci. Äh, eine beliebte kurze Erzählung, in der Summe die Geschichte des Shoguns eines Taugenichts und der Kitsune Gucci, einer Alleskönnerin, erzählt. Diese Erzählung befindet sich in der gleichen Sammlung von Wiedergeboren als Shogun mit unbegrenzter Macht, ist aber nicht von demselben Autor. Ja, natürlich ist die Kitsune Gucci eine, eine Alleskönnerin. Kitsune Gucci ist der Titel von Yaemiko. Kein Wunder, dass das in ihrem eigenen Verlagshaus veröffentlicht wird. <lacht> Oh Gott. Das kann sich auch nur Ja Miko leisten, sich selbst zu einer Mary Sue zu machen und damit trotzdem noch beliebt zu sein und durchzukommen. <lacht> ähm, mehr als neun Hund, zehn und elf. Okay. Neue Chronik der sechs Füchslinge. Prolog 1, 2, 3, 4 und 5. Nett. Vom Schwert gefunden im Herbst. 1, 2, 3, 4 und 5. Ne, 4 und 6. 5 fehlt. Okay. Und Prinzessin des gefallenen Landes. Band 1, 2, 3, 4 und 6. Hm. Äh... Die Prinzessin, der der Untergang prophezeit würde, wird Zeugen der Unter des bevorstehenden Untergangs ihres Landes und genau in diesem Moment steigt ein Wandererkrieger vom Himmel herab, der die Wahrheit nicht kennt. Die Reise des Paars inmitten des der Feuer einer uralten Kriegszeit beginnt. Aha. Na dann... Oh, was haben wir hier? Die Nacht der Prinzessin Fischel, Band 0. Der Vorband der Reihe, die Nacht der Prinzessin Fischel. Ursprünglich kam dieses Werk in einer violett-schwarzen Holzbox als Geschenk in limitierter Auflage heraus. Aber viele eingefleischte Fans der Reihe, die die ganze Saga sammeln wollten, waren über die große Menge an Inhalt im Vergleich zu der geringen Anzahl an gedruckten Exemplaren erzürnt. Deshalb nannte das Verlagshaus ja dieses Buch Band 0 und verkaufte es separat. Letztendlich, wurden die, äh, letztendlich wurden das Originalwerk, die Sammlerbox und Band 0 von den Fans als wertvolle Sammlerstücke angesehen. Hm. Und ja, es... Ja, wo ist sie? Da, da. Es geht um diese Fische. Ich habe ein anderes Universum und gefunden ein Paradies. Für ich, Fische, und die Prinzessin der Verurteilung. Oh. Genau. Und ja. Also. Ich habe ja gesagt, irgendwann mal mache ich mal ein, äh, ein Video oder eher mehrere Videos, wo ich die ganz, wo ich so vollständige Buchreihen ähm, vorlese, quasi wie in einem Hörbuch. Ha Habt ihr da immer noch Lust dran? Ich hoffe es. Und ja, es wird kommen, aber ich weiß noch nicht wann. Ah. Vielleicht, wenn das Internet mal wieder überhaupt nicht will, dass ich mir dann mal die Mühe mache. Aber bis dahin... 
reden wir erstmal mit Aoi. Ja, ihr dachtet, ich würde jetzt Gruß zu Inas Fan sagen, aber nein! Es ist Aoi! Gott! Welcome to Tsukumomono Groceries. We've got everything you need. Can I help you find something? Or perhaps there's something you want to inquire about? Ja, wegen dieser Schuldscheine. Ah, so you're friends of Kurosawa, I take it. <laughs> Perhaps you're here to pay off his debts. Whoa, whoa, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're just here to learn where they all came from. How did Kurosawa end up owing you so much money? Did he buy anything super expensive here? Let me think. Kurosawa would come regularly to purchase large quantities of foodstuffs. He'd always put the payment on his own account. However, the price of provisions began to skyrocket recently, and his salary was no longer enough to cover the cost. So, he started writing out IOUs to cover whatever he couldn't afford of the usual amount. So that's how he was getting those emergency provisions. But why did he have to purchase a usual amount? If the prices increased, couldn't he just buy less? Well, if you think about it, the citizens receiving the emergency provisions must have been carefully calculating how much they needed to sustain them each time. Kurosawa thought that it would be quite the disappointment for them if they found they didn't have enough, especially after such long and careful planning. So he deemed it necessary to take on the debt rather than let the people down. Wow. Was purchasing all the emergency provisions at his own expense. And no one ever appreciated what he did. They just complained and held him accountable. People's attitudes will always reflect their circumstances. In the face of hardship, nobody cares to think twice. Uh, if you ask me, had Kurosawa told everyone the truth about the supplies from the start, then there wouldn't be such a severe backlash now. Of course, I'm sure there would still have been some unrest. What he was doing was truly a thankless deed. As for why he chose to spend his own money on emergency provisions and never tell anyone, I'm still not too clear myself. If you're still curious, why don't you go ask him yourself? Leider erinnert er sich nicht mehr. I see. That reminds me. It seems that his vision was recently confiscated. Most unfortunate. If he doesn't clear the debt on his name, he'll have no choice but to sell that sword that is so dear to him. Sword? What sword? Oh, didn't he tell you? He possesses a very valuable blade. He's carried it for years now. I've asked him about its origins. He told me that it was a gift from his father, that it was too precious to sell. In hindsight, I regret that I never made an offer on it. Everything has its price, at least that's what I think. Why don't you ask him about the sword yourself? Perhaps it'll even provide you with the answers you're looking for. Yeah. Oh, but before you go, if you would kindly settle today's bill. <laughs> but we didn't buy anything! <laughs> Information is also a kind of commodity, wouldn't you agree? Don't worry, I won't charge much for information about Kurosawa. Nothing we ever discussed was explicitly confidential anyway. Oh, let me think. 2,000 Mora should be a fair price. <laughs> also, At least we good. now know where the emergency provisions are coming from. Plus, we found out that Kurosawa has a priceless sword in his possession. Let's go talk to Kurosawa again and see if he can remember anything. Yeah. Das Blöde ist leider, wir haben keine Ahnung, wie viel, ähm, wie viel Mora wirklich ein, ähm, irgendwas hier in Euro wäre, weil 
Wie viel Salz ist das? Es könnte wirklich nur ein Salzstreuer sein. Oder, ähm... Aber es könnte ihm auch mehr sein. Und da kriegen wir für 120 Mora wirklich nur eine Tomate oder eine Kartoffel. Und für 100 Weizen nur ein, äh... Ja, ein so ein Weizen. Ähm... Und auch wenn man sich mal die Bücher anschaut, die haben 1500 bis 3000 Mora gekostet. Das Stück. Ja. Ähm, wie viel, wie viel Nahrung ich dafür bezahlen könnte, ist halt... <lacht> also ich denke mal eher... Mora hat keinerlei, äh, steht in keinerlei Relation zur, äh, zu echter Währung, weil alles, was man da versucht, ist eigentlich, irgendwie passt es nie. Also, es ist, naja, ist halt echt nur für... Für das Spiel und auch echt daran angelehnt, wie viel die Reisenden ähm, überhaupt haben können, sollten. Död. Naja. Hm. Na gut. Um, what are you doing here all by yourself? Where did those other two go? I presented them with a choice. Either they left or I drew my sword. They left. It turned out to be a real time saver, actually. Perhaps I should start using it more often. Did you manage to track down the treasure hoarders? Everything I said was true. Right. Also, ja, wir erzählen ihm. That just about sums it up. It turns out that you really were distributing emergency provisions, but they were all purchased at your own expense. Strange. Is that really the kind of person I was? I don't really have any such recollection. Even after all you've told me, I still don't remember anything. Why was I purchasing emergency provisions for everyone? And why would I put myself in such a difficult situation? <sighs> I really don't understand. But I cannot deny that when I brandished my sword to scare those two away, I could sense that my body was somehow reluctant to do so. Das Schwert dürften wir uns erstmal ansehen. And this sword was once wielded by my father. I remember once when I was young. I wanted to sneak out with the blade and show it off to the kids next door. My father ended up catching me in the act and scolded me severely. What did he say? <sighs> I can't seem to remember that either. It would seem that I forgot many important things when my vision was taken from me. So many memories gone. Forever. No matter how hard I try to remember, all I can remember now is my father telling me that this blade bore his life's creed. Before he passed away, he placed the sword in my hands and said to me, With this sword, you should... <sighs> hey, if you look carefully, there's da steht Tugend und Gerechtigkeit. Okay. Woher auch immer die Reisende Inazuma lesen kann. Oder Teyvat. Egal. Virtue and justice? Somehow those two words seem to explain 
everything now. Taking on seemingly endless debts to make others happy. I guess that must have been my greatest ambition after all. But what use of virtue and justice? I purchased the provisions for those in need. And look how things ended up. The Tenryo Commission seized my vision. And the very people I was so desperately trying to help refused to understand me. And the irony of all of it is, I somehow still felt sorry when threatening them with my blade. I'm incapable of being a good person, yet I'm equally unable to be bad. I... I don't know what to do with myself. Yet another troubled soul. When we get the chance, Let's speak to Toma about Kurosawa's debt. The Yashiro Commission would surely help cover his expenses. In any case, we must never let him sell off that sword. Ein göttliches Auge zu verlieren ist kein Zuckerschlecken. Yeah, seems like losing all ambition is a terrible experience. Fortunately for us, you don't have a vision. Let's go find the next poor soul. Ja. Aber auch das erst wieder beim nächsten Mal. Und äh, vergesst nicht mir zu schreiben, ob ich ja meine Charaktere aufstufen soll und dann auch auf Abenteuerstufe oder auf Weltstufe 4 gehen soll. Abenteuerstufe 36 bis 45. Was dann, wie gesagt, auch in, auch in deutlich, äh, naja, schwereren und dadurch aber auch interessanteren Kämpfen, hoffe ich doch, ja, mündet. Mache offiziell Bekanntschaft mit der jungen Dame des Kamisatus clans Ach so, ja, haben wir ja jetzt gemacht. Ja, dann an. Gruß, Zynas-Fan.